Now that you've built your website on the Zip platform, it's time to migrate it to your permanent web hosting. And this is going to be the quick guide on how to do that quickly and easily. So you can see this is the website that I've designed and it's currently on the Zip platform. You can tell by the website address right there. Now, the way you migrate this is you can go and get a web hosting account and install a fresh copy of WordPress there. So I have done that and here it is. You can see the website address for this website is letscreateawebsite.com. So the goal of this video is to move this design and all that has gone into it off of the zip platform and onto my permanent web hosting using this website address right here. Now we're going to be using a free mi migration plugin named WP Vivid. It's free and it works fantastic. So the first step is to log in to the website you want to migrate and this is it. So I'm going to click on the dashboard and we want to install that plugin. So you go to plugins and you click right here where it says add new over here on the right. We'll search for WP Vivid. And then we'll click right here where it says install and then we're going to go ahead and activate it. It's going to take us right into the settings of the plugin. Don't worry if it looks overwhelming. There's only a few things we need to do here. And the first thing is to click this button here that says backup now. And this process should take 30 seconds or so. And it's going to create a backup of this website that we're going to upload to the other permanent hosting and we're going to restore it there. So you saw how quick that was. And down here, you'll see this is the backup. And there's this option right here that says download. So we'll click on this and it's going to show us all the files that make up this backup. So if you have a really large website you built, there might be multiple files. But since this one is small, there's just one. So I'll click on download and it's going to immediately download to my computer. And there's my web browser giving me confirmation. You can see right here, it's not a big file. Great. Now that that's done, I'm going to go back over to the website. I want to migrate everything over to, and I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to go to plugins. I'll choose add new over here. Do the same search for WP vivid. Then I'll click on install. And now I'm going to click on activate and it takes me back into the same interface. But this time we're going to click this option here that says upload. And this is because we need to upload the backup that we just downloaded to our local computer. So click right here where it says select files and choose the file that was just downloaded and it will list it right here and then click right here where it says upload and this is going to upload the file and like I said it's a small file it shouldn't take too long over here is the progress and we're about 80% done wonderful and here's a confirmation I'll just go and click on OK and now you can see we see that backup on the website and what we want to do is choose this option right here that says restore. And once you click on it, we then need to click this button here that says restore. And here's a confirmation. Now, just know that when you restore this, it's going to wipe everything out on this site and it's going to restore everything from the zip site that we just made the backup from. So I'll click on OK. And here is the progress of this. And it should also be fairly quick, depending on how large that backup file was. And this is just some logs. It's unzipping things. It's putting things where it needs to go. It's changing the website address from the zip one to the new website address. And you can see it's already done. I'll go ahead and click on OK, and then I'm logged out. So now you just need to know how to log in. What is the login to this site? Well, it's the login to this site right here that is the website that we made the backup. That's going to be the login. Now, if you don't have a note of the login, that's OK. Log into your zip dashboard like this. And it's this website right here is the one that I just migrated. And over on the far right, there's three dots. And when you click on it, there's this option here that says login credentials. And this is the username and the password to the website. So I'll click on this to copy it. And then I'll go over here and then I'll paste it in and we'll do the same thing for the password. Copy, go over here, paste it in, click on login and it'll give you this confirmation. Just making sure that the email set for notifications is the correct one. I'll say this email is correct and we're taken back here to WP Vivid. There's one more important step. So if we wanted to just jump into the front of the website and we wanted to take a look at it, sometimes these pages, when you click on it, it might show an error. Let me show you what to do. So we're going to go here to settings. There's this option here. This is permalinks. I want you to scroll down and click on save changes. If you run into any issues, do this. 
and that will make sure everything is working as it should. Now we can go to the front of the website and my design has been migrated over all my images, my entire design, all of my pages are working just fine as you can see. Now there's still the WP Vivid plugin that's installed on your website. You can choose if you want to disable it or you could use it to make backups of your website, periodic backups in case you ever need to restore it or you can simply disable it. So I'm going to go to plugins. Here it is. I'll click on deactivate and then you can click on delete if you want and that will remove it from your website but your website is still there and all of the pages are working and you can see we're using the new website address with my permanent web hosting account and that's pretty much all there is to migrating your website.